and uh, welcome back to yet another video of the Lone War 2 XCOM 2 a better one my name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man run where we are trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with this new mod so far we've done uh, we've done a pretty good job and now it's time for operation little chilies um where we are trying to kill 24 enemies in order to get a lot, a lot of corpses and supplies. Wish me luck, boys. Okay, we just landed. It is high ground and we gotta be very, very, very careful to play this one right. We don't want to destroy any of the supplies and I think we can keep the corpses as well. I'm pretty sure we can. Which means it is time to put everyone into the best potential cover. Oscar Mike uh, certainly helps us uh, doing so. Yeah, we want to make sure that we're that we're not triggering anything unnecessarily. Okay, I'll go. Keep in mind we're not hidden, right? So we're going to corner camp right here. Sniper takes uh, the best spot here. Our assaults will camp down there. We'll keep Fury just behind our lines and uh, that leaves one more spot right up here. Uh, just in case we need a grenade. So overwatching. The idea is to carefully spot out where the enemies stand and then use the sniper to pick them up one by one. It is, however, entirely possible that we're going to pull a larger pack and then the fight is on. Keep in mind this is not the best team that I have drafted. Uh, we have been uh, pretty much surprised with the opportunity to go for this um, for the supply rate. So all we got is really a moderate team. Well, that's pretty much it. We haven't even gotten our upgraded weapons yet. So... As you can see, we clearly did not expect um, that there would be a supply rate. So... Let's move up to here. If they are coming from the side, uh, we should be ready and should be able to engage them. Yeah, I don't want to go too far out there, but... This here is probably going to be an okay line of defense. We don't have really good weapons for ranged combat, to be honest. Um, we have a lot of frontliners, so our overwatch traps will also not be really, really helpful. Nevertheless, if they run into us, might as well try to get a couple of overwatch shots out. I, any I wouldn't expect that any, that any of these shots here are actually going to hit. Got 
We do have trouble getting a good line of sight with our sniper here. We do have high ground, but not a really solid line of sight. Probably once we have engaged a pack, that changes, but for now it's difficult. This here is much better. Finally, we got some shooting angles. Let's try killing the sentry. Nice. Well, they can clearly see us now. No more reason to hide, right? Okay, first things first. We're going to use rapid deployment and I actually want to deploy a smoke grenade. They're all hiding here. Being able to hit them would be nice. Let's move to here. We're keeping his stealth, at least for this turn. And I want to try to kill them without uh, losing their bodies. So we're using another rapid deployment here. Catch. This one will give us three further good spots to take cover. That's one down. Keep it going, buddy. Good, that's two down. Moving to here will offer us another flanking position. Not the best odds, but still okay. There is a stun lance over here who is pretty dangerous. So let's stick here <clears throat> and make sure that the three cannot act. Good, that keeps those three at bay. Probably have gone a little bit overboard with the smoke. We should have uh, moved first and then used the smoke. But that's okay, that's why we brought two of them. Good, time for the Templar to shine. Let's get secured kills first. Ok, 
Okay, so we could give him another uh, action. Not even sure if that's necessary yet, to be honest. Oh well, there's another one over here, so yeah, maybe it is. You know what, let's do that. Um, Templar is going to parry. And immediately receives an extra action. Those two are being taken care of. Um, I think we're just going to kill him. And we're then going to parry, so everyone is going to focus on him. He has two parries. Moving to designated coordinates. Nighty night. We're taking a stun. Even if it doesn't hit, it's fine. Good. The Templar should tank two of the shots easily and he's in cover from the third one, so unless the two blinded ones are shooting first, the Templar should be fine. So that's two parries gone. Third one now might need to miss normally. Yeah, there we go. We used a few cooldowns, so better be careful. Uh, come on. Alright, lightning reflexes. Let's move, trigger. And this hopefully does not trigger another pack over here. I don't know why I, why I wouldn't be flanking him. Hmm. Let's try to stun him. Good. That way everything's being taken care of. Now we can simply take normal shots in trying to get him down. Because the Sun Lancer will use his attack. Um, at fury and it will it will be parried yeah we're not going to take a 24 percent shot
Sanansa won't be able to resist. He wants to lance us. Let's go, buddy. Come on. I totally stand corrected. He wants to land, but just shows a completely different target. Okay, yet another try. Let's kill this guy. There we go. By the way, interesting to see how fierceless Star Monsters are charging in. In complete disregard of their own health. On the move. We're by the way moving back just a little bit. Figured that we might end up with even more. What's over there? We're pulling back. Almost all the way back because then we can let them come. Hmm, I'm wondering what the safest place would be in order to scout them, but yet not be seen. Yeah, so yet another big pack. Our sniper could hit one of them, and I think we should start with it. We continue to move a little bit back because I don't want to trigger them. I guess that'll be okay. We'll do. Roger that. Moving into full cover. Good. We're going to soften them up with the sniper. But I think they'll approach sooner or later. So we gotta go, uh, go and uh, fight another large battle. So far the, uh, the team, uh, the pack does not seem to know where we are coming from.
incredible. I think there's even a second pack right here. Yep, pretty sure that there is a second pack. Interestingly enough, they have taken cover, right? So I guess they generally know where we are. That's a difference to normal, um, to the normal XCOM 2. They would, they would move much, much slower. And certainly wouldn't directly know where we are. And it almost seems that both of the packs are moving in into our direction. Or it is a gigantic pack, I don't know. Those four seem to be one pack. And that's these four here seem to be one pick as well. Negative damage. Plus now they have figured out where we are. Negative damage. I'm under fire. Nope, it's a pick of five. Nope, it's a pack of six. Well, well, well. We can't fully reach them, but we could move up to here and then try again. I like the idea of high of full cover. I like the idea of removing cover for them. Nice. Very nice. Okay, before we do anything, let's make sure if, if we can kill, if we can kill him. Wait, I do have another idea. Yep, that's a good idea. So, standing in full cover, reload first. And then we're going to kill the captain. Maybe even the trooper back there. But we're certainly going to injure the um, stun lancer.
gotta be extra careful here. And we're probably not going to parry this time. Instead, we're going to move away. So I don't want to be spotted out. We're using momentum to our advantage. And we'll just vanish into the woods. Like a phantom. I think the sentry is more dangerous. Well... Technically, they're still in half cover, right? If we move up, it is 100% certain that we're going to trigger next turn. We could also run and gun up to here. There's a high likelihood that we're again going to trigger next turn. On the other hand, we need to kill enemies. Moving up all the way to here. Fifty-fifty. Didn't want to just um, stun him. Because I know the stun would have would have worked, but uh, we would have ne needed to deal with him next turn anyway. So I wanted more action economy and the greed in this particular case wasn't good. We're fighting against quite a few enemies here. finally discovered. At least he pays uh, for that with his life. Oh shit. Yeah, that's the disadvantage of being discovered. Okay, we're down to five. Good idea to slowly but surely start the evac.
Moving into full cover. Triggering all of the overwatches. Okay, we still got two more grenades. Flashbangs could hit three back there. Probably need to flashbang here because of the mark, which gives them an unfair advantage. Trooper, trooper. These are the only two that we can kill. Let's start over here. That's one down if we can kill another one. That would actually be helpful, but we're going to be flanked over here. Could move over here. move over here but that's suicidal moving up rapid deployment let's get rid of the three here This here could be a kill. Unfortunately not. So let's take another shot. We're not even hitting the target. Okay, but we're in full cover. Moving back just to force them to come a little bit closer. I mean, we could kill this guy here, but there are just too many of them. Next turn, maybe.
we were position uh, we were to position ourselves here we would still be flanked this here is half cover not really good another half cover spot Let's take the 50 50 here. Target still standing. Need to reload. Moving a little bit closer, I want to be able to hit everyone, and the sniper really had suboptimal um, shooting angles. We're going to take a lot of shots now. Uh, but we are, f I think we're fine. Well, maybe we aren't. Come on. Wow, even more. Well, it's pretty rough. We're probably just throwing another flashbang in there because we're dealing with uh, too many of them. This here is to to remove the Overwatch. Dealing minimum damage now, that is un really unfortunate. She's also pretty injured, can't just put all of the injured um, people to the front line. We have to finish up a few of them. Once again, we're barely hanging on. That's not how it's supposed to be. Okay, so that's a good angle because we are in full cover from here. And there is no further pack. Down. We're now starting to take out uh, we're now starting to take them out one by one. Troopers deal the least amount of damage. Those are busy. 
Might as well go for the engineer and then take a uh, then take a parry. Still got sufficient hit points. Or we are simply going to get back here, which isn't bad either. I think we're going to go back. I don't want to stand out in the open. I was really hoping that we could... Uh, mm, that we could kill the other uh, two troopers before this here uh, was happening, but unfortunately we can't. Those two here uh, have taken shots, but only grazing shots either of um, both of them. Uh, he's, he's in a dangerous spot. But I think we can move up and flank flank him and kill him. So this turn, I think we will get the upper hand. Oh shit, reload. Good. Can we please kill this guy? Thank you. Just need to say please, and the game does what you want. Okay, once... Once we had um, broken their defenses, we were actually fine. So parry. Interestingly enough, the melee characters are cleaning uh, cleaning up all of the kills. Reloaded. We're just reloading and overwatching. Okay, we're drawing the overwatch shot. And this one here should be it. Almost. Okay, please tell me that that has been it. Okay, there are still enemies out there. Got it. 
Well, time to regroup and see how we're going to do that. Because it feels we went through all of our consumables. And despite playing well, um, we are somewhat running out of steam. A lot of injuries here. And there's definitely alien activity, so somewhere out there it's an enemy. And in some of the um, supply raids, the enemy actually was kind of a boss enemy. So we got another charge of our med kit. Got it. Which probably Mitch is going to require. On the move. I would want to keep the high ground um, if possible by any mean. Uh, by any means, because we need every advantage that we can get, and let's w wait until the evac is actually coming through. Affirmative. Moving out. This raid would have been so much easier with um, laser snipers and laser shotguns and probably a little bit different team to be honest uh, one that can fight uh, long distance battles Because with uh, two assaults, one Shinobi and one Templar, this is uh, pretty much in your face team. And if you can't do that because uh, there are constant uh, threats of uh, triggering more enemies, then you do have a problem. We lost our scout. Mitch is sitting up here. Closing on target position now. You know what? Mitch has more hit points. Might as well put him here. On Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. My senses are to Moving to Overwatch. They make themselves easy to find. We're hearing that they are moving. There's a chance that they are moving into us. Before we do so, let's first of all put the body right next here. That way, once we're moving out, no one needs to act, uh, move there and pull up uh, pu um, or put up the body. It's already on the extraction zone. Okay, where exactly is the body? Aye, aye. Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. On Overwatch. No one gets by me. Come get some. They move without regard for us. I mean, I get it. She's st stabilized, but where's the body? can only heal ourselves, we can't really get her. Hold still. Solid copy. OK, 
Good. Time to put the unit down. And we're going to get uh, you once we're done. So, next step, let's try to lure them into an overwatch trap. We can constantly hear movement, but so far nothing has really moved into our line of sight. The problem is as well, if we're now um, moving ahead and if we're triggering something, we might end up biting up, biting more than we can chew. An overwatch trap would give us at least a little bit of an advantage, maybe kill off one of the enemies. There seems to be somewhere, uh, someone there. Pretty much here, Rish. Copy that. Okay, we know that we can move up to here. Without triggering anything. Let's continue the overwatch for now. We're now going to get uh, this cover position slowly but surely I would like to move up. Moving into cover. Okay, we're stepping closer. I think it must be some sort of stationary enemy. Just afraid it is a boss of some type. High armor, high resilience sort of enemy. If you say so. Okay, we're moving up even further. Okay, we need to reposition a bit. Okay, here we go again. Needed a short bio break. So we're going to continue to go around here. Good copy. Moving on target. Rolling. Everyone moves up. We have 24 enemies. We killed like what? 8 in the first pick, another 6 and 6, which means, or another 6 and 8, I forgot to count.
which means there might be one more pack of four somewhere out here. Getting our sniper into a good position and let's move everyone up. I can reach it. Location confirmed. Come get up. Got it covered. Eyes P, we're not alone. There we are. We scored one hit for four uh, for four damage, at least. Oh, nice! There's another one. Okay, it's an hour never situation. Let us move in. Uh, this here is going to kill the Viper. We're ignoring all of the overwatch shots. Thanks to lightning reflexes. Well, almost all of them. Got an advanced suppressor. Alright, so one second. Fury. Can I take one, two, three? Perfect. Uh, our Shinobi can I take one, two, three? Perfect. Sniper's moving up. We have a lot of 50-50 shots here. Oh, come on, guys. Moving over here. And let's hopefully get him down. Nope. Which means uh, this here is going to be our safe kill. Standing in full cover afterwards and... We can go into parry afterwards. It's exactly four enemies, so this should actually be the last pick. You must be kidding me. The moment when you think that you have killed the last enemy, an unholy zombie appears. You know, let's stay in full cover here. We can always 
continue to parry. There is no there is no reason to risk anything. Yeah, I could have I could have just ignored the six percent shot. Alright, Perry. So this should finalize the map. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status okay, that was pretty tough. Five wounded soldiers, 25 enemies, but it would have been easier if we could have had a real team that's actually built for long range combat. I am looking forward to see the results of this mission. Probably a lot of days in the sick bay. Well, 15 here, but our unconscious uh, member might even stay longer. Anyways, promotion for our sniper. We're going to give her more damage with her weapons. Furious promoted, finally. That almost looks like uh, getting deflect. Yeah, we're going to wait until the next tier. Uh, Lars just got his uh, nickname. He is called Lars Nasty. Whatever he has done to earn that. He will get some extra bonus grenades in 15 days for our freshly promoted uh, soldier. Aya has uh, had a pretty decent battle. Oh, she she just was knocked unconscious, I remember. Oh no, she wasn't. She actually was bleeding out, yeah. It was not a stun answer. Okay, so we're looking at one uh, Advent Officer Corpse. Hair trigger suppressor dodge. Average amount of alloys and crystals, supplies, salarium uh, cores too. And this is the good part the massive amounts of uh, extra corpses. Got the vipers, got the trooper corpses. So, yeah, overall, very successful. You know, the best part would be if the trooper corpses would be in high demand. Because for 10 apiece, I would definitely sell some. So in terms of purchase, scientists and the engineers, I think we're fine for now. We could hire another sharpshooter, Lance Corporal, but I th uh -uh. we're going to use our supplies. To get the guerrilla um, upgrade Vulture, we finally got a sergeant, so we could get Vulture. Uh, Vulture. That's 150. I think that would be worth it. Is open. So let's see, I 
think we should start with the Illyrium cores. So 50 more. Data pad, yes. Although a little bit extra intel for another region isn't too bad either. And one trooper corpse. What is this here? Oh, yeah, I remember. That was uh, the mission which we wanted uh, to staff right after our uh, right after our supply raid. Um, I would want to wait with the trooper corpses until they are in high demand because then we actually get more money. For now, the vulture is good. In, uh, vulture will be good enough. Getting it essentially doubles the amount of loot items uh, which we would get. The other thing would be wet work for seventy-five. Let's shortly see, could we get 75 together? Could we get 75 together? 36. Let me check that real quick. So it would work if we're selling a few of the trooper corpses, which I think I'm fine to do, because the extra experience early helps us way more than the corpses that we can't use. Which means we're getting wet work as well, 100% experience gained from kills. These are the two mandatory updates from the GTS, which I would always try to get at the very beginning. And now let's get some more intel. Because we still have a few non-injured soldiers. Yep, right there. So let me, um, let me field a uh, squad and then we're going to give it a go. And we're back. So we got a pretty decent team, at least. I got everyone with the exception of uh, Dragon over a laser weapon. And we got some of our um, of our adventurers from the last uh, supply raid, Renvin here, and Heater, which is uh, the name of our sharpshooter. She's the one um, fighting the loss earlier in the campaign. She was also on the supply rate, so the two of them are still uh, going. The rest is added, and as for our barracks, I think we can um, we can uh, even do one more mission. There we go. So we got two missions ongoing. And right now we are switching again because we need to find additional missions, which means let's get one of uh, the scientists, by the way. The other one should be in the laboratory. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for Ooh, we gotta we do that as well, okay. Well, I didn't know that it costed money to upgrade. We certainly should do that relatively soon. Yeah. 
everyone here goes back onto Ital. Setting course for sector 12. We're trying to heal in the meantime. Did we really have, oh my gosh, even more? Good, so everyone's supposed to be on Intel. I thought the upper maximum was 10 rebels per camp. Apparently I was wrong. Maybe it was 12, but here we already have 13 thanks to the, the extra rebels that we saved. Maybe it was 13. It's a long time since I played Long War 2 the last time. So we should, together with the scientists, we should definitely find uh, Edwin quite easily. The re region here is a Vigilance 9 region now, which means Edwin is pretty aware that we're up to something. Okay, we just got a research breakthrough. The lab is currently idle. We're wasting valuable time. We can all go for proving grounds, alloy plating, and so on and so forth. The actual next target is probably going to be combat armor. Um, since we're researching that fast, might as well do the advent officer autopsy. Only takes us seven days, that's pretty impressive. Because that's going to be used for um, for Gauss rifles, sorry. So, we just got a new recruit here. There we go, let me shortly color code him. Alright, much better. So, we got an uh, another uh, ranger uh, assault right here which means we have enough people to actually field the mission can we theoretically recruit someone yeah we do have one recruit we need another specialist hmm Yeah, it's not urgent, but as soon as we get some money, we might want to get another specialist. Let's continue healing. And there's the next target. Another engineer, but we only have two days, 16 hours. So that was detected way too late don't think that we can do anything about it. Two days is just too little time. Well, there we go. 91% infiltrated, good enough. Um, that one here would be, oh yeah, the Intel. We had a couple of Intel missions and oh my gosh. Yeah. We got plenty of um, soldiers there, so the next mission should be relatively easy. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. We're going to continue the run in uh, the next mission. And if you like the content as always, leave a comment down below. Thanks and have a great day. Bye bye.